I have a box. And this box is from Containment Crew. But I don't know what is in this box. Thomas told me that I will probably like it. Um, it's something interesting. And when I asked if I should open it on camera, he said probably. So the rest of this video is going to depend on what is inside this box. So uh, without further ado, let's see what's inside this box because uh, the anticipation is killing me. So let's do that now. And what is inside of it? Oh man. We won't check it out yet. Let's see what this says. The letter says, Bubalola, we are proud to be sending you test samples for our new high-performance Cyclone flywheels. Ooh. They were designed by us and manufactured with pride right here in New York. We've tested them running many different setups and would love for you to run them through their paces as well. We hope they are worthy of a full review on your channel. NVZ was too long ago. We can't wait to see you at Indoor. P.S. Go Slow Taco for life. Isn't that the truth? Oh my God. Oh, this is... This is exciting. I am, I am excited. Holy crap. Look at these. Holy crap. Those look so cool. Already best looking flywheels ever. So it looks like I'm going to be testing some new flywheels. Let's get into it. That's right. Another set of flywheels has hit the market this time from containment crew. These are called cyclones and they look awesome. Just like hooligan wheels, they are made of Delrin, they're CNC'd, and they're made locally to Containment Crew in New York, which is very cool. Containment Crew tells me these are light enough for rhinos to spin up, but have enough mass to be used with full auto blasters, though 180s are highly recommended for that. They also guarantee that these will work with stock cages as well as black steel prop cages. They've been tested with open flywheel project cages and will theoretically fit in Alice Coat Duck cages as well as Artifact Red cages. Now I won't be going over the fittings in this video, however I will be doing the same thing that I did in my Hooligan flywheel video, going over the outer diameter, the inner curve diameter, the weight and I'll be showing you some chronograph radians to show you what these flywheels are capable of. Cyclones have a very shallow curve as you can see in the picture and their shape is like a mixture of stock wheels and blaster part wheels. Blaster part wheels have almost a one millimeter difference between the inner curve and the outer diameter whereas containment crews are almost a millimeter larger than blaster part wheels with a 0.5 millimeter difference between inner curve and outer wheel diameter. As for the weight, Cyclones take top spot at 7.75 grams, nearly 0.7 grams more than Hooligan wheels, which were the heaviest at the time of my review of them. This weight does line up with Containment Crew's claim that there is enough mass to help limit FPS drop in a full auto blaster. And now it's time to go over the FPS readings. Just like with the Hooligan wheels, I'm going to be doing the short version of the breakdown. Um, and I put them through the same test that I did for the Hooligan wheels, so the amount of darts shot through them is exactly the same. And before shooting them through the chronograph, I put six Worker 22 mags through these to keep FPSs a little bit more consistent. The FPSs come in at a 130 average for stock darts, 106.29 for Ekine, 116.46 for Mingun, and 137.86 for Kush. Other than a less than 1 FPS difference for Ekine, Cyclones just barely outperform Hooligan wheels with a plus 2 FPS to stock, near plus 5 for Mingun, and a plus 5.71 for Kush. If you're interested in seeing a more detailed version of the chronographing session, I'll have a link in the description to the Google document that goes over everything. And I'll include Containment Crew's own chronographing session readings in the description as well, where they shoot the Cyclones through a stock cage with Hellcats, as well as a black steel prop cage with Hellcats. So all three of those will be in the description. So what is my conclusion for Containment Crew's Cyclone wheels? I have basically the same things to say about them as I did for Hooligan wheels. These are adding to more variety, more options on the market, which is always great for us consumers. And these are made in the United States, made in New York, so you're helping support a local shop, which is very, very cool. So by now I know you're wondering how much will a pair of Cyclones set you back? And the pair goes for $18 on Containment Crew's website, which is a dollar and a cent more than Worker Wheels on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime, and $3 more than Hooligan Wheels before Hooligan shipping price. So after weighing things out in my head and giving it a night of thought, I am proud to say that Containment Crew Cyclone Wheels are getting a Bobo Must Buy award. 
Not only are these flywheels super duper pretty, but the FPS readings got me just as excited as the Hooligan wheels did. And even though they cost a bit more than some of the other competitors' flywheels, these will help you squeeze that bit of extra FPS out of your build without going up to something more expensive like a Dr. Snickers cage, which I think is awesome. I think Cyclones are a great option and one that I can definitely recommend. So if you're interested in picking up a pair or maybe multiple pairs for yourself or for someone else, I'll have a link in the description to where you can pick them up from Containment Crew's website as I drop one on the ground. I hope you found this video to be informative and enjoyable, and as always, have a great day wherever you are.